What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today I'm here to talk to you about Photographs. This is the newest title out of 88 Games, that's uh, the studio that Luca Redwood heads, which is essentially himself, um, but we have a couple of other uh, players in this one. I have the full description below. I know Ben Prunty did uh, the music for the game, and overall I like the experience as a package. Uh, the music is uh, sort of somber, mellow, you can really chill out while you're playing through it, which is good since this is a departure from the previous style of games that uh, 88 Games have put out. This is nothing like 10 million or you must build a boat, which were these sort of uh, repetitive dungeon crawlers uh, where you had a match game going. This is sort of a puzzle driven experience uh, with five different styles of puzzles each matching a specific scenario that uh, is woven into a narrative so as you play through the puzzles you get a bit of story elements and uh, they'll ultimately inform you about what's going on and that's sort of reflected both in the way the puzzles are designed as well as um, the story so they're interwoven well uh, you can see them interact with each other I thought that was a very neat tidbit too and uh, I think that's something that uh, the developers were stressing over a bit if you check uh, the Twitter feed for Luca Redwood you'll see some of the musings that he had while he was developing the game assuming he hasn't deleted any of those tweets since then but uh Overall, I think the game seems pretty much like a success. Um, I'm hoping that uh, other people pick up on it. It's rare that you find a puzzle experience that's not super lengthy and uh, doesn't really feel trying, but actually allows you to mellow out and just enjoy the puzzles and, you know, use a bit of your brain meats for a while. Um, ultimately, if you are a fan of narratives, even though there's a significantly negative twist on each story, uh, that's an important part of uh, the game itself and how ultimately it comes to a conclusion. Um, there's some extra puzzles for each scenario, it, depending on how you choose to end the game as well. So there's a good amount of meat uh, for what ultimately comes up as the $12 indie title on Steam. Um, the prices for mobile may be a little bit different as uh, I've seen in the past for 88 games titles. Uh, I haven't actually checked on them right now, but I'm going to compile a list of uh, the links to purchase the game for various platforms and have those in the description like I usually try to do. So if you guys are looking for a puzzle title, uh, feel free to check this one out. I was pleasantly surprised with the entire experience from start to finish. I uh, pretty much played the entire game straight through on a stream as soon as I opened it up. So it was definitely compelling enough to get me to finish it the first go around. Um, other than that, uh, I'm going to be doing like short snippets of games that I'll be recommending uh, going forward. Things like this, um, especially indie titles, because that's something that I want to maintain a focus on. Uh, but things that are sort of out of the box, uh, outside the box, um, like this, I think I'll probably be trying to highlight a bit more often as long as I can actually get my hands on them and show them off to you guys. But if you guys have played photographs, let me know what you think of the game. Um, if you guys want like, uh, solutions to everything, there's a stream that I did, um, which I'll also post a link to, uh, with a timestamp because there was uh, another game in there, but yeah, you can check it out and see how we got everything solved, but otherwise, Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be making more videos for the channel coming soon. And until then, as always, take care of yourselves and have a good one, folks.